if you were voting today, who would you vote for? Steph Russell. Curry, LeBron James, Kawhi, Harden, Russell Westbrook. Of course, Russell Westbrook. Triple double. Never has been, hasn't been done in how long? It's hard to average a triple double after losing the MVP teammate and be able to still get to the sixth seed in the West. That's impressive. No, it's a no-brainer for so me. So even including what we're seeing in the playoffs right now. Even including. You still you still follow your ballot for Westbrook. What did you make of Harden going out and clubbing after last night's loss and his personal performance? You know, I he has to be smarter than that. You know, you have to be smarter than that. You can't come out with with an effort like that and the first the first picture seen after a big loss like that can't be at a concert. You being the leader of a team, you being one of the best players in the league, to after losing a game like that, especially to your teammates, you, it has to be hit you a little bit more personal. You know, I know every time I lost in regular season or even in the playoffs, I didn't want to be seen for two or three days because I cared that much about the game. And it, it questions how much he cares about the game. To me, you know, you can't have a game-deciding game for your season being the best player and you come out and really you playing like you're not even like like you're not like you're not interested in playing basketball that day, to take to not take a shot to the second quarter like this guy shoots the ball all the time sometimes too much. So what happened last night? I I feel I I honestly feel like this, Rich. The guys don't really care about winning that much in the NBA no more, and it's it's obvious. I mean you don't you, his body language yesterday. I've never seen his body language like that. This is. Get, this is game six in the playoffs to go to the Western Conference Finals. You're supposed to put your blood, sweat, and tears. You're supposed to be willing to die to get to extend the series or get to the next round. I don't see that in the NBA. You know, I think all the guys that 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 that's willing to die and play basketball and die to win are in the big three now. They didn't push us all out. So <laughs> if you want to see good competition, if you want to see guys fight to win and care about winning, watch the big three because the NBA is losing it. Now, we'll get to the big three in a second. You, you don't think LeBron wants to live It's and very die? few. It's very few. Okay. LeBron wants to win. Kawhi wants to win. They, they put it all on the line. Russell Westbrook puts it all on the line every night. You can't say that about James, James Harden. He doesn't play defense at all. You know, I, I respect guys that play on both ends of the court. You know, Paul George. You know, I respect guys like that that really show that they care about the game. What about Draymond Green? Do you respect Love him? Love the fact. I, I call Draymond a more athletic version of me because he's willing to, to fight for his teammates. He's willing to, to put his points aside, do anything to win games. And you got to respect a guy like that because, Rich, the, the game of basketball changes a lot of our lives. Coming, coming from where we come from and these areas where we don't get many opportunities, basketball changes our lives. It takes care of our families. You know, so guys that appreciate the game and play it and, and, and play it the right way, I love that because it's a million guys that want to be in our shoes that don't get this opportunity. So why not take advantage of it? The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. If you like that, download our app. Please, just if, if it's a memory thing, just delete other apps. You don't need those apps. This app, the Rich Eisen Show app, you need that.